Hello, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. Today I'm going to go over um, something a little different. Last week we were on vacation to go visit my sister in Chicago and her family, and we had a nice little family vacation together. Now normally when I go on family vacations, and I think most people do, uh, do too, is that I buy a lot of souvenirs and mementos of where we were. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot of souvenirs and mementos because um, we saw a lot of awesome stuff. We saw the sky deck, we saw an architectural boat ride, we were on the Ferris wheel, and every one of those little things I would have bought something, like the jelly bean bank of Sears Tower, and the magnets of the bean, and the shot glass that says Chicago. And this time I didn't, because I was trying to keep to my rule of I need more stuff going out than coming in. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my uh, achievements, what I did good, and then I did have a little fail, but that's okay because I'm learning and I did better than I normally would have done on the average vacation. So I'm just gonna show, this is my uh, children's suitcase. So the thing that I did by them is this right here. This is the a beluga whale, and my oldest absolutely loves, loves, loves beluga whales. And I did buy him this. This is what I did allow him to have because um, he loves them. He loves this little beluga. I actually had to put it back in the suitcase so I could make the video because we went to the shed aquarium and it's his favorite thing. So it is okay to buy one thing if they absolutely love it. And you know, it makes it more valuable because this is his one very, very special thing that he got from shed aquarium. And for most of the Chicago trip, like this was his very special, special thing. So he will love this and remember it. My other son who loves playing with this decided he wanted this little sharky spinny thing. Again, it's one thing, it's one souvenir from the aquarium and for pretty much most of the trip. So um, I'm real, and he loves playing with this toy as well. I had to put this back in the suitcase for the video. So these are, um, this is something to think about, is that by letting them pick out their one special thing, it actually does make it special. It would take the, the value on the, um, away from these things if I ended up buying like 10 more souvenirs from here. So that's kind of where my success is coming from, that I only bought the one souvenir um, from there. Now they did end up getting one toy, which is good for me, but it was at a mall and they had some money and they ended up getting a Lego set. So that's the other thing that they bought with their money that they had for um, their vacation, which is good because they got one thing that they love, that they picked out with their own money. So again, for me, this is good. Normally when we go, we have a bunch of stuff. We'll get at least another 10 little things with the money that was given to them. Normally little, little things that they don't really care about or throw away. Um, this isn't very important. This is just uh, something out of a Happy Meal thing, which was a quick, a quick meal. Um, I see right here that I'm gonna show. The other thing that I decided, because I love my souvenirs, and I am a, I am a hoarder, and I need to remember, you know, remember these memories. Um, what I did allow was I got a picture, so I'm not gonna show it, because I don't wanna reveal who I am yet, but I did get a family picture that I'll, I'm actually gonna put in the frame. And I did let my son get um, these little postcards and stuff like that. We did mail some of them out. Um, what I'm going to do with that is because for me, myself, I need to have something to remember the vacation by. I took a ton of pictures. I took a whole bunch of pictures. So I'm gonna do what most people do. Um, and well, maybe not most people, but I'm gonna print them out and actually make a physical album of it. Like, Lord knows I have at least like 10 albums sitting, photo albums, seriously, sitting in a Tupperware bin somewhere. So I'll actually take one of them out, use something that I have, and that could be my family souvenir is all the pictures. And I think that's more valuable than the shot glass that says Chicago in it. So I wanna say this is my success story for me as a hoarder. This might be like the average person, but for me who likes to shop and likes to collect and likes to hold on to, this is successful. Here's where I did not have success. My suitcase. So there was a store and I was so good with not buying. I wasn't buying, I wasn't bringing stuff in. So there's a store in the mall in Chicago called Riley Rose. And Riley Rose has the most amazing makeup in the world. Enter this. 
how pretty is this right here? It's an eyeshadow palette with the glitter. You know me, this is my weakness. Um, this is a trigger for me. Any kind of makeup store like this, Sephora, all that. And as you know, I'm cleaning my bathroom right now and I'm gonna see at the end just how much um, makeup I have. And I'll just show some of more stuff, but do I need this stuff? No. Does it trigger a certain emotion? Yes. Like, look at how beautiful this is. This is so sparkly. It is a uh, lip gloss. I, I absolutely love this. And here we go with a, oh, you know what this is, but I did, see, I need it. Do I really truly need it? No, but in my mind, I need it. And this is probably why I need to treat myself to these stores. I can't get it out because I wish I could show you. I need to, so I guess it's a highlighter, but it's a gold highlighter. So um, that's really, that. this looks really pretty on my skin tone. So um, this just proves that I'm not quite 100% ready <laughs> um, to go in my trigger stores. Um, there's something else in here too, trust me. Okay, voila, more glitter stuff, <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm not ready to go into my trigger stores yet. Like any kind of makeup specialty store that has all this beautiful stuff, any of the Hobby Lobbies and all that, I'm not ready. Um, I'm still working on it. But what had happened was I went in there, said, hey, I haven't shopped in, uh, I don't know, uh, over a month for new pretty makeup. And I kind of had a relapse, which is okay. That is okay, you know. Um, I now know that I cannot buy any more makeup till, and I'll say Christmas, because it's the beginning of August. So I will not buy any new makeup until the beginning or until Christmas time, maybe for Christmas presents. Um, when I'm done my uh, room, I'm going to, or of the bathroom that I'm working on right now, I'm going to organize all my like with likes makeup. And I think that's going to be eye opening when I see that, when I see how much of each makeup product that I have, it's probably going to be very uh, overwhelming and a lot. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, Yes, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to tell you about the vacation and how I made some good baby steps forward and maybe took one or two back, but that's okay because everything is a learning process. So thank you for watching. Bye.